Yo, what's up guys? This is Sam One Shot of here and this is me bringing you another video for Lions War. This is this time we're up against ASR. I've been assigned to path 3 section 1 and we were at this point of the war we were losing. We were back. We were 3 deaths in and they had died only once and they were way ahead in uh, exploration. So I was like the first one in my BG to like start clearing the nodes. And I was so nervous, I was like, damn it, I gotta like not die, because if I die, everybody else is gonna like start dying and stuff. Here I evade an SP1 from Iceman, this is like the psychic uh, thorns damage uh, nodes. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, it's almost done, look at him. And here I take an SP2 in the face, I mean, awkwardly enough, you can avoid the SP2 much more easily and much more easier to avoid than the SP1, which I avoided properly before. Uh, here I dropped my sp3 hoping that I would have killed him but I just noticed at the time I, at the moment I pressed sp3 he had Iceman had his armor up so he wouldn't have died anyways and so here it's that he just drops so a bit of a slip up in that fight with the sp2 which was so much it was avoidable in every every sense and I was nervous probably because you know we were losing and we were like what's going on and stuff and this kind of like whole um we were like we didn't know what's gonna how the war is gonna end right till the end like just till like six nodes till the end we were like no, none of us knew who, how the uh, war was gonna end it was so close this this was one of the closest wars uh, we faced and the guys also mentioned it so here i'm taking quake for sentinel i'm like all right cool as long as i don't touch him i don't hit him i'll just do the quake and shake uh, quake style i'll be fine and look what's gonna happen right now i'm just gonna like slip up in a second i could just take the heavy of sentinels and look how much health i drop i just dropped to like 40 percent and i was like oh my god there you go again i'm gonna slip up i'm gonna die and i'm gonna probably mess it up and everybody's gonna be mad at me because we're already losing and stuff instead i'm like okay just maintain your calm just just play your game you know how to play this thing you know you were drunk before now you can you're sober so you should be able to play it properly and stuff and i'm just doing the quake and shake style hoping the concussions do it and there you go it's in 40 seconds in 50 seconds i just dropped this sentinel so yeah first two fights a bit of a slip ups over there but you know in the end i managed to clear my path in section one and the next day uh, I was assigned to uh, path 8 uh, section 2 and I was waiting for my lines mate to clear the node because it was like with the health block node and I'm running suicide with sim supreme already he's got so low HP and I've got a Hyperion here and this is the node where you gotta stay close to the opponent so you don't regen because there you go you have the regeneration buff but if you're far away <coughs> you gain a degen and a big one I should have probably put a, like a, a region boost over here, but I was like, oh, fuck it. I, I didn't remember it and stuff. So here I just like, you know, uh, just like I'm hoping that Hyperion just like bay, uh, he throws his SP1s. That's the only trick. I don't want to push him too much with his SP2 in case I don't stagger and I don't nullify his uh, power gain buff. And here he just hits me. I, I like I waste my indestructibility boost. I put it on just in case Hyperion goes red and drops his SP3. And I'm here waiting for him to do it. But look at me, I'm gaining so much degen from damage from just not by staying close to him. I'm like, all right, cool, just let me throw my SP3. And I just want to hope that this Hyperion drops some point. <laughs> That's like how I was. And we were still losing here uh, over this point. Just look at the damage of the Sim Supreme. He's such a beast. And look at that Hyperion from 30% HP. Look how that, look at it with all the bleeds on him. Look how much he's dropping so fast. He just drops. There you go. I didn't touch him as well, but he just dropped. Such a beast, Sim Supreme. He's such a beast. And I was just, as I was saying, at this point of the war, we were still losing. It was like we were like five to eight, and they were still ahead like a lot. Uh, ASR were like in exploration, they were ahead. So we, I was like, damn it, you know, I gotta do my work, and everybody else is like worried probably and stuff. This fight is pretty much straightforward it's with like quake and it's against mephisto and i wasn't much worried about this because i mean quake's a beast versus uh, mephisto and it's like i, I would it's like she's the perfect counter if not the best i mean in my opinion if you can play her and so i was like damn it i gotta do these fights i'm nervous because you know like asr is really they were playing really really well and and we were like some point i think all of us were like we've probably we're probably gonna lose this war but something happens like towards the end there were like six nodes left and we needed like two deaths of theirs 
and it happened actually they just dropped two three they dropped three times i cleared my path uh, like flawlessly in a way well besides the the damage i took from sp2 from iceman and the heavy of sentinel and so i was pretty like okay cool i did my part and i was nervous while everybody else uh, had we all were like nervous in this but as you can see here we won and uh, yeah huge congrats to asr they put up a good show we we as an alliance were like we we're compact as an alliance we we're like a great synergy there's a great synergy between our bgs and like the players it's so important we were like so happy when this when we won this war it was such a relief so yeah that's the end of this war and that's the end of my war as well um i'll post the next war as well, alliance war video so take care guys and see you soon ciao